I'm just doing a, an update of me, uh, me, me, electric, me battery electric loco which I'm building. Uh, I explained to you in, in part one that I was making it out of all my scrap items that I've got in my garage that I've had there for years. And uh, what I've done, I've, I've, I've had a full day at it and I've sorted all my material out and I've managed to scratch enough uh, plate up. To, to, to build this what's in front on you and I know I've had to join it in places but uh, it doesn't really matter it, it'll not be noticeable when it's all painted up so this is where I'm up to at the moment uh, I've got I've got all uh, main chassis made it's took me all day to make this and get it tacked together and welded up uh, really it's took me that long because like I said I've, I, I'm working with bits of plate that's all different sizes which I'm having to cut down and and uh, and, and, and weld it together in places if you can see I've, I've, I've had to weld that piece together there but my idea is I, I'm a novice at this and I've just joined my local model engineering club and my idea is to just use all my scrap up uh, and do it as cheap as I can and the only thing I'm going to have to buy is uh, a mop one motor and uh, a controller so this is where I'm up to at the moment uh, I've got the main chassis all built I've put these extensions on here for me uh, axle boxes where, where me uh, spindles and wheels are going to run um, and it's I'll just give you a quick idea at size the overall length is two foot the overall width is a foot and I've done my wheelbase at 10 inch um, that's my wheelbase I'll just turn it over and show it the proper way up right so this is basically uh, my, my chassis made up now I've, I've just got a, a few of the little bit, bits and bobs to finish off on it uh, while I were welding I've melted a bit of me, me uh, lino cover on me bench with heat, it's, it's just melted onto the plate so that'll all rub off with a wire, with a wire brush and like I said I, I've, joined, I've joined pieces together to, to, to get me sizes but it'll not be noticeable once it's painted uh, so that's what it's going to look like from a side view anyway and these are going to be with me axle boxes fixed and I've just made a start uh, 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 sawing these off some uh, 2 inch square bar uh, not sawing them by hand I'm sawing them in my mechanical saw which I made a long time back uh, I ain't got a, a band saw so it's just a slow job on my mechanical saw in fact I'll just show you that running So I'm putting the axle boxes out this two inch square bar and I'm putting them just above three quarter um, wide so I've got a little bit to, for, for facing off in lathe. And uh, this will merrily soar away while I'm doing other, other jobs in the garage. I can just leave it. It takes a, it takes a while to go through but it gets through eventually. And I'm on my, my third one at the moment. I'll just turn that off while I'm talking because it is a bit noisy. And I've just made a start to make my first axle box. I've just set that up in lathe and faced it up. Uh, I've got three more to do. Well, I haven't finished this one yet. I've got to bore it out for, bear, for bearing to fit in. So that's where I'm, I'm just starting on my axle boxes. So basically, it is my axle box that that's going to fit in that slot down here on loco with a spring above it, and then my wheel on inside. Now for my wheels, um, I'm going hard hard route again. I've I've just found this piece of bar I've had on stock for ages. It's four inch diameter, and uh, it's just going to 
being be, be wide be wide enough to for me to get uh, for, for at least four wheels out on it anyway. We a bit we a bit to grip onto in choke. So the the. They're going to be four inch wheels on, on, on bottom of that, on inside. So that's my wheels sorted. And these bearings, which I've had on stock for a long time, they're new. They just they just got uh, they just soiled a bit. We've been in a drawer. They're fitting in axle boxes like that with a spring on top. And then uh, my spindle will come through with my wheel on inside. So that's where I'm up to then at the moment. I just thought I'd do this quick update. Uh, it's took me basically nearly all day to do that. Uh, and that's where I'm up to at the moment. So tomorrow I shall continue with me with my axle boxes and then once I've got them bored out for bearings. I shall start on my wheels and uh, while I'm doing that my me, me axe saw will be soaring merrily away, merry, merrily away while I while I do another job. So that's a quick update for you on me on me loco and like I said I, I'm only a novice and I'm on a learning curve here. I've never done one before um, so it's a budget loco just to get me running to get my granddaughters on, on track. Thanks for watching then. And I'll catch you in my next update. Or part 3, whichever. Okay.